Hi. This screencast is only for students in ART S156 Intro to Digital Photography, only for those students who are using the iGo Computer Lab to do their work for this course. This is not for anyone who's using their personal computer, especially a personal computer with your own copy of Lightroom. This is only for people who are going to be working in the iGo Computer Lab. The reason why is that on a personal computer, you're not changing users. And because you're not changing users, your computer is not set up that when a user is using something shared, such as the pictures folder or the documents folder or the music folder, that when they log off and another user logs on, that all of those folders are purged. What that means is that if I were working in here and I put all my photos in the pictures folder and I have my Lightroom library in the pictures folder, I can work on all that as long as I'm logged in. As soon as I log off and someone else logs in, the computer knows, oh, you're going to need the pictures folder and the documents folder and the music folder, so I'm going to dump all the stuff that was in there so that it's new for you. So if you don't do what I'm about to show you, um, every time you work, you're going to lose everything. So you need a hard drive. Can't be a thumb drive, can't be a jump drive, has to be a hard drive. Lightroom has to save that library to a hard drive. It wants to save it to the CPU's hard drive, but it, we can't use it because it's going to be purged every time you log off. So you need a hard drive. Um, it reads, uh, Lightroom re reads thumb drives, jump drives as a micro SD card. It sees it as a source, but not a place to save. So to do this, we are going to open Lightroom. You'll see that it's not down here because we don't want you opening it from here. Um, so we're going to have to go into Applications, find Lightroom, and we are using Classic, not CC. CC is built for tablets and phones, Classic for a CPU. We're going to launch it. It's going to go through its tutorial features may even have to log on. I'm not sure if we're going to have to use our Fredonial credentials to actually log into Lightroom. Nope. That's you can go through this or not. Yep, that's what I thought. So we're going to have to put in Hour. And you'll have to do this every time. I'm sorry. That's the way the site license works. Every single time that you launch, you have to go through this rigmarole over and over and over again. Um, you can go through this, these tips if you want. I know them. And now that we've gone through all that, we're going to quit. So we can go through it all again. And the reason why is that all I need is that library. How am I going to find it? Go home. I like my view to be like this. Every single person who has ever logged on in the last little while is listed. You know it's you because it's your name, and you have the little home button. Cameron, who was just here, uh, was the last person here. If he was logged on, it would be a home button, and Lee would look like a folder. We're going to go into pictures, and there it is. That's what we want. So I'm going to open up my drive, make a new folder, make it for this class. Take this Lightroom folder and put it there missed. Put it there. And we're done. Now, every time you want to open Lightroom, double click on the catalog and it launches. And I'm probably going to have to sign in again. Let's see. Yay! I don't have to sign in again? Oh, good. I wasn't sure about that. Um, so it'll be every time you log on, but at least if you quit throughout the time that you're logged onto the computer, you won't have to sign on every time.
Well, that's that. That's how you save the library and how you would launch from Lightroom from here on out. I would also recommend that you keep your photos on this hard drive. So if you want to make a new folder and call it photos, and I would take the photos from your card in your camera and actually load them onto this hard drive as well. First of all, you get it's a backup. You can keep them on your SD card in your camera. You've got them there. And you've got them backed up on your hard drive. Also, it's just going to make Lightroom, it's going to make things a lot easier for Lightroom to find them if they're there. I've had a lot of students sometimes forget to bring their SD card down here and then they have to go back to their apartment or their, hotel or their uh, uh, dorm and go get it. Um, so it's really nice to just keep your, fold your photos here too. Just a tip. All right, that's it for this lesson. Uh, next lesson, we'll be importing photos into Lightroom and starting to make catalogs and then contact sheets. Collections, not catalogs. This is your catalog. I should also point out, you can have as many catalogs as you want. You can give them, you know, you can, you can make catalogs. So like if I were a wedding photographer, instead of calling this Lightroom, I might call it Brown for the Brown wedding. Um, make another catalog, call it Smith for the Smith wedding. Um, you can have as many of these as you want because in Lightroom you can switch from catalog to catalog and then within catalogs we're going to have collections and that will be the next lesson. All right, that's it for me. Bye.